So this is our last unit. Um, I like to say that this unit is bringing it back to sort of the beginning. Um, think of everything that you've learned this semester, all of the skills, the creative process, and, and how can we bring it all together. So you will be doing 5.1. This is um, going to have a set size of 9 by 9 inches, 300 dpi, with 9 grids, 3 across and 3 vertical. So it's going to be 9 grids, so it's going to be about an inch per part. The designs are going to build upon itself, and I kind of think paint by number 1, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 3. Um, artwork must be all original to the software. You cannot use things from the internet. You will do 5.4. So it's an 8 by 8 inch standard minimum size or larger and two line progressions that lay on top of each other. So we're thinking about lines again and how we can modify them. 5.5 um, is 5 by 25 inches. So 5 inch squares, vertical or linear format, 300 dpi. And this is a single organic or inorganic object. The first can be a photograph, and you're going to render it in different styles. Um, it, it has to be more than just like a, I put a Photoshop filter, but thinking about all the different styles you've approached this semester and taking that single thing and seeing it in different forms. Um, and the last one is 514, 515, or 516. So these are all matrix styles um, designs. So 6 by 6 inch or larger. Um, 5 by 14 spiral in a grid matrix, 5 um, by 515 antipodal uh, progression, and 516 progress for simplification. And, and let me click. Antipodal means relating or situating on the opposite side of the earth. So diametrically opposed to something, something um, that's a Opposite, so think of the polar opposites, I guess. So artworks for inspiration, these are kind of fluid. Um, so if we look at sort of, we have progression going down and up and how things are rendered, added upon each other. Antipodal, so we have lines that kind of fall down, lines on top of each other, 5.4, uh, more lines. You notice how we can kind of see different elements built upon each other. Remember, lines are not just straight, they're they curvy, the lines have many different ways to be. Progression. So thinking of modular units, thinking of uh, the matrix, it's not, it doesn't have to be square, you can work in triangles. Thinking about the patterning that you are going to create. Maybe there's intersections that, that live together. Again, lines intersect. Think of positive and negative space. Take everything you've learned from this semester and bring it on back together all nice and tight. There's growth and change. And you're and even thinking about 5.1 where you have your final design, it could be something like this where it just kind of builds upon itself. It's the fabric piece, fibers piece. Quilting is a prime example for 5.14, 5.15, and 5.16. Always bringing it back to quilts. Quilts are such a great 
inspiration source. And I think a lot of people overlook the artist artistry of uh, fibers and textiles. I'm flirting with it. I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do some fibers. I promise. <laughs> Thinking about how things are shifting and changing from one end to another, but still following this sort of repetitional pattern. This is um, great because you can kind of see where it kind of like builds upon itself, these, these uh, fabric parts, and that could be inspiration 5.1 or 514, 515, 516. The spiral, so we kind of have a spiral kind of going on here. Again, where things are progressing and adding and kind of working a little abstractly, but there is sort of, you know, some representation going on. Some of these are just inspiration for forms you could create. Think about the matrix. How things build upon these tells and keep growing from there. So that sort of spiral progression where, you know, it starts here and it kind of builds on out. Looks like these things are kind of building upon themselves to kind of grow and change. And each part is a, is a growth, but it's also in the mediary, it is still strongly itself. So think about how things can evolve and grow and change. And this is sort of like 5.5. The same thing kind of rendered differently. 5.5. Thinking of the growth where it kind of grows on through over here. And where things are moving and evolving. The things are building upon itself. So for 5.1, radial pattern, you can kind of go crazy with it. Found this piece recently. I thought it was a perfect example for 5.1 where everything's being built upon itself and sort of, um, I would definitely look up his work. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. A lot of it is sort of these built upon itself, which I, I, I'll look up his work for 5.5. Student work. So you can see these awesome examples of these grids that are laid out. So this is going to take some planning within the software pulling up your guide marks. Remember, we're using guide marks, pulling them out, using guides, using those rulers are really going to be key. That's Setting that up first is going to be your key to success. And a lot of people tend to start off with their last unit and kind of go backwards. Um, they have a plan and then they remove it out. Some people like the chance aspect that happens when they start creating allowing each part kind of inform itself. Sometimes people try to make it into a narrative, but there's a story going on, which is always very fun to do. Again, more storytelling. I think people get really excited to 
to think about progression as different parts of the story and how it builds upon itself. Lines overlapping. Have fun. Um, go crazy with a lot of different colors, patterns, shapes you can build upon. Object arrange. Again, this is another one where setting up that, um, setting up your mark with your guide marks is going to be really key at first. And having fun with different ways you can render it. It doesn't have to be a photograph that you change. It can be different sort of drawing styles you approach. Think of all the skills you've learned this semester within this class and other classes. Cats are popular. Think about your progression. Think about your canvas. It doesn't have to be square. It could be any sort of format you want. Definitely let it be free and open. There's so many different approaches to this, as you can already see. This is going to be a fun unit. Um, definitely take time um, with everything. And looking forward to see what you create.